Support for Radio Friends comes from LaBrunerie Financial, where they work to ensure a lifetime of financial security for people from all walks of life, from investment services to retirement plans. If you're looking for a trustworthy company that has the experience and knowledge to put your interests first, contact LaBrunerie Financial, a community-based investment counseling firm since 1966. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Monday, August the 24th. A pleasure to have you with us today. And as we continue our social distancing here in the studio, I've got Suzanne Opperman with us. Welcome, Suzanne. Thank you. Seven and a half feet away. So we're more than six feet away. That's good. Uh, And you're here to talk about smart recovery. And you were telling me before we started that smart recovery is really uh, caught fire online now. Yes, Um, Originally, there were maybe 25 meetings online, and then as the weeks went on, the meetings became swamped with people, Yeah, and they expanded to add more meeting times. I know I added a meeting time on Friday evening, and the number of people from other programs that came to SMART was just huge absolutely huge now some of our listeners and viewers may not be aware of what smart recovery is tell us tell us what you do smart recovery stands for self management and recovery training it's a different approach than other programs such as 12 step because it teaches people how to manage their own issues without having to have someone to call on or it it really makes people self-sufficient and it also helps them to learn that there's lots of other things to do besides whatever their chemical dependency is or activity dependency Uh, it includes helping people with anger management and it's so you're, you're not only doing drugs you're not doing only doing chemical dependency but you're dealing with anger management are you dealing with uh, eating disorders? Eating disorders, um, gambling, uh, internet addiction. Well, how does, how does that all fit under one umbrella? Because it's changing the person's perspective on how they look at their choices. Regardless of what it is that you are f- struggling with, if you decide that you want to change, Smart Recovery helps you learn to change your thought process that you've probably had since you were a child or if you've been in traumatic relationships, to change your perspective on you own your own feelings. You are the one who controls how you react to what's going on around you. Now, how do you deal with that if someone has depression? Because sometimes with some types of depression, the only way to treat it is with medication, correct? Correct. How do you know if the depression that you're dealing with can be treated by changing the way you think or if you actually do need medication? That's usually decided by the professionals. If someone's evaluated and they are already working in a program to learn how to think differently, and they're still struggling with some of the issues, we advise them to seek professional help with potentially medication, therapy. One of the things that we say in the introduction of a meeting is is this is not to be construed as professional help. We are simply introducing people to ways that they can change their life. Okay, and so much of us can change our life with just the way we think about daily situations. Yes. How you react to a situation, we call it an activating event. Somebody, you call it what? an activating event. Okay. Uh, let's say somebody makes you mad. The past reaction you would have, the quick and easy one, would be to drink or overeat <clears throat> or gamble. SMART teaches you to stop, and we call it play the tape. Each time that you have had this activating event, we encourage people to think through what they did the last time this happened. Let's say they went ahead and did drugs. Well, how did that turn out? 
did that really change anything that was going on except their immediate feelings? No. They possibly got in trouble, got arrested, got uh, a DUI. The outcomes is what we teach them to look forward ahead to and then make a decision about they want those consequences to change. So the whole trick is when they initially have an activating event to stop and think. Urges only last 7 to 15 minutes regardless of what So the if you have an is. urge to do something. Yes. If it's a, even a, 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 a urge to go and buy something that you know you can't afford, yes, that you yes. shouldn't buy, yes. do you deal with that too? Yes. We teach people to distract themselves. And that's the key to learning not to follow through with the bad consequences. When Recognizing when that urge hits that they have a choice, which is what smart recovery is all about, choices. You have a choice to either act out what it is that you do for your dependency. We don't like to use the word addiction. We're trying to teach society to get away from that. Whatever your dependency might be, drinking, drugs, uh, gambling, overspending, um, overeating, any of those things, distract yourself. Think of something else that you need to do. Leave the place where you are. Change your environment. Go watch a TV show. How long does it? How long does it take to actually change the way you're thinking of life? That's a good question. It really depends upon the person and how motivated they are. I've had some people within three weeks. It's like night and day. It's just amazing how fast they and can change. And other people take longer. <clears throat> Yes. So it's the attitude, doesn't it, a a lot of it has to do with the attitude that you have going into this? Smart Recovery believes that you have to be ready. It has to be your choice. Someone else cannot make you decide to quit, to stop whatever it is that you're doing. There's another part of Smart Recovery called Family and Friends. And in that, we teach loved ones how to positively interact with those with dependencies because their self-esteem is so low that all the nagging, moaning, bitching, complaining that people do when they have someone who has dependencies only makes the situation worse. Okay. If people want more information about smart recovery, either for themselves or for someone they love, what's the best way to go? Go to the online website, which is www.smartrecovery.org, and there are introductory information there and is a a list of all of the 60 meetings that we have online every week. Okay, and that will will tell the whole story. It will. All right. It's www.smartrecovery.org. Uh, Suzanne Opperman, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you very uh, much. You're a delight to chat with. I'm glad to see you in person again, even though you are far away. Drop me an email, pemberp, Missouri.edu. Something you'd like to hear. Bye-bye.